Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the DeWalt XR quarter hex inch impact versus the DeWalt Atomic quarter hex inch impact. Now, uh, DeWalt fans, most DeWalt fans hate the Atomic line. I personally love the Atomic line. And, uh, and yes, uh, we are going to see if there is a major difference in performance. Now, straight out the bat... Uh, the DeWalt XR version has the three-speed setting with a variable trigger and uh, with a light diffuser, and the Atomic does not have a diffuser. It's just flat out, uh, just the, just the tri-beam. So we are going to use a 2-amp hour and a 4-amp hour battery to conduct the sets. We're going to do some Timberlock screws. We are going to do some lags, and we're going to see which one prevails in this test. And uh, in the future, we are going to do more with flex batteries, but this video is just going to be a two, uh, two amp hours and four amp hours. So the DeWalt Atomic is a DCF 809, uh, and it goes to zero to three hundred, uh, zero to thirty two hundred impacts per minute, and the it's zero to twenty eight hundred RPMs. Variable speed trigger only, no speed setting. Tri beam in the in the front. Of course, it's a brushless motor, and yes. Then the DeWalt XR is DCF887, uh, variable speed trigger and speed settings. There's a screw setting, then a speed two, then three. So this goes to, I'm uh, the first speed setting, it goes to zero to 1,000 RPMs. Speed two, zero to 2,800 RPMs. And on speed three, it goes to zero to 3,250 RPMs. And that is a big difference against the Atomic. The Atomic uh, is majorly slacking with 2,800 RPMs only compared to 3,250. So then this has uh, uh, 3,800 impacts per minute and the Atomic has 3,200 impacts per minute. And yes, this is going to be an interesting one. Let's see which one prevails on these tests. All right, so the Atomic is the Atomic Collet. Just push in. Yes, it is. That's awesome. Is the XR just push in? Yes, it is. Now, on both of these, the Collet, you do not need to adjust to put it in, but you do need to adjust to take it out. So that's a good feature to have on your impacts. Now... Since these are high-end impacts, we are going to do 10-inch lag screws as well in this test. So I, I'm a huge fan of, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of all the lines. I love DeWalt, and uh, we are going to see what these can do. Now, I personally love the Atomic line. It's, I love the compactness of them, the lightweight. So I'm hoping the Atomic wins, but I think the XR is going to win. I think the XR is going to dominate on this, but I'm hoping that the Atomic wins. First, we are going to use the Atomic with a 2 amp hour battery. Like I said, we are going to use 4 amp hour batteries in this test. We are going to do two Timberlock screws, two 10 inch Timberlock screws, and let's see what this can do. Safety first, everyone. Alright, so, ready? Go. Time. Time and all these batteries are full. Ooh, that sounded two bars already. What about you? Make sure. Yep, three bars. Wow, these batteries were full. These batteries were full. We're going to do one more right next to it. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's whip out the XR. Let's do two as well. Ready? Go. Wow. Time. Wow. That's on speed three, by the way. It's on speed three. I could uh, I could tell that this dom this dominated that test. Ready? Go. Time. 
time. Wow. All right, now what we're, we're going to do is uh, Atomic is, is going to take XR's timber locks out, and XR is going to take Atomic's timber locks out. All right, so we'll give the XR a little break. Ready? Go. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, let's take the other one out. Ready, go. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. Now the XR is gonna take the Atomics timber locks out. Let's, let's see what this does. I have a feeling this is gonna be like seconds. Ready, go. Wow. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so ready, go. Wow, that power. You could feel that power. That power is seriously, seriously awesome. So the battery life on that is three bars still. Battery life on the uh, Atomic is two bars. Alrighty, we're not going to time this since this is not in the competition today. Uh, we are going to drive in six lag screws and we're going to do a stress test on the DeWalt's to see which one takes out the lags faster, one at it uh, all at once. Just for, all, just for fairness, I do not want to wear out uh, Use the DeWalt, one of the DeWalt's a little bit more than the other. When it comes to battery. That one's a tough one. That's that went into something extremely dense. We're gonna do the uh, the atomic first. Uh, all right. So I feel like I should reposition that one because that one's in a tough spot. Oh well, let's see what happens. We'll have the uh, the atomic do it. All right. So we're gonna do three at once. I'm gonna go to the next one as fast as possible. All right. So ready. Go. That's three, and that is time. All right, two bars remaining of the uh, Atomic. All right, next we'll do the XR. Uh, so if this uh, XR takes that one out, then it is amazing. All right, so ready, go. difference you know we're gonna have to do a uh, versus video between these guys alrighty so I uh, I don't know the results but I think the XR won that one alrighty so now it is time to go to the 4 amp hour 
Let's see if the 4 amp hour gives the Atomic a little boost along with the XR. All right, we will be using the Makita half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. And we will be using Tac Life impact rated sockets. Alrighty, so since uh, we are going to be doing four and a half inch, eight inch, and 10 inch. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to do, we are going to drive these in individually, and then we are going to have each of them take out all three at once and see how well the performance is with doing the tasks. All right, so ready? Go. Alrighty, so that is the four inch and a half inch. What's the battery life on this? Battery life is at two bars. Wow. I think the Atomic is draining a little bit more energy than the XR does. Do it right there. Alright, so ready? Go. Wow, that XR did fantastic. We're gonna do an eight inch. I'm do it right here. All right, so ready? Give that a break for a second. All right, so let's continue. Ready? Go. Oh, it lost the momentum. Now it cannot do it. Yep, lost the momentum. All right, let's see if the XR could actually finish that up. That might be a dense knot right there. Ready? Go. Nope. Nope. That is in there. Right, so let's see if the Ryobi has a shot to take that out since the DeWalt's failed. Nope. Ryobi failed. Alrighty, so since the we're gonna try a different spot. That was uh, the uh, the Atomics turn. All right, so ready, go. Was able to do it. It was able to do it. All right, let's do the XR. Do it right here. That should be okay. 
All right, so ready, go. All right, the battery on this is still three bars. Wow, I honestly think the Atomic uses more energy than the XR does. I really believe that. All right, so what we are gonna do is the Atomic is gonna take out the four and a half inch and an eight, in uh, eight inch and see what the time is and if it's even able to do it. All right, so ready, go. You can't do that one. Let's try this one. Ready? Wow. Alright, let's try an 8 inch. Alright, that failed that test. You know what? We're gonna try... We're gonna try just one thing. If... If I use a flex battery, if it's able to do it. Ready? You know, just, ju just because, just for the heck of it, let's see if the XR with a regular 4 amp hour battery could beat the Atomic with a flex battery. And uh, just to very quickly, this is for those of you who believe that 18 volts is 18 volts or 20 volts is 20 volts, a more powerful battery does increase the power of your tool. It does. Alrighty, so... Yeah, we are going to see if the XR with the regular battery beats the uh, Atomic with the Flex. Oh, battery is at full bars, uh, full bars still. See, that's crazy. Full bars. Ready? Go. One more time. No, nope. this is uh, XR is going to need the flex as well. XR is going to need the flex as well. Ready? Go. Wow, that that the wall's getting hot too. Alrighty. Uh, we're going to let this cool down for a minute and give it one last shot. It does. Ready? Go. Alright, speed three again. Nope, it cannot do it. It cannot do it. And if I keep doing that, that's how you ruin the tool. Alrighty, so both of these majorly struggled when it comes to the... The lag screws. Now, I was I was not expecting those results at all, but I think the XR won over the Atomic, and so yes, so uh, the Atomic required the six amp hour flex twenty volt battery, and the XR did not for most of this stuff. Now, both of them failed to take that last eight inch lag out. Those are the re those are the results. I just wanted to see what the uh, time comparison between these two are. And that's that. I think the XR1, now the XR is a longer unit, but it's thinner. The Atomic is shorter, but it's fatter. So yeah, so those are the, those are the results. More videos are coming up and more different ways to test these are coming up. I am not only going to be doing Timberlock screws and lag screws in the future. I'm adding a lot more ways to test these. Because even I am getting a little tired of just doing the Timberlock screws and lag screws, so I will be evolving the tests to be a little bit more 
uh, precision test than power. So those are the results. I just want to do this video. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.